Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane. This is literally my third time trying to film this intro, so hopefully third time's a charm. But we're sitting down today with another makeup tutorial. On Valentine's Day, I ended up getting like a little gift from my husband. We exchanged gifts first thing in the morning, and one of the things included was the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. Now I have the green one that we created a look last year. For, Chris, for our Christmas party, and then I just got my hands on the red one. The red one I've only tried once, and I really ha I didn't have that much luck with it, and I was thinking about returning it. I kind of want to keep my hands on it and see if we can't make it work, so we might be seeing a tutorial done with that pretty soon. So today, I tried to really just use this palette. The problem was, um, the palette is beautiful, and you're going to see that it's very pigmented. I'm actually really, really happy with this one, but it has an equal amount of shimmers and mattes. And if you know me, um, I really prefer to use all mattes in my crease. I like shimmers on my lid. I like mattes in the crease. So there were some particular colors I was looking for to come up with this look today that this palette just didn't have um, in a matte or just didn't have. I was looking for a couple more pinks as well. So we do dive a little bit into the James Charles palette as well. If you guys want to see how I create this look, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it, so please keep watching. Oh, by the way, you're going to notice in just a brief second that we're going to have a wardrobe change. I definitely thought today's look was going to be a little more on the lavender side, but it turned a little darker than I first visualized. I'm not not happy about it. I love how today's look came out, but if you're wondering why the shirts changed between the middle and the beginning and end, that's why. <laughs> to get us started with today's look, just to save on a little time, I've already gone ahead and filled in my brows. We are going to jump into the James Charles palette a little bit today, but you can honestly skip this first step where I'm adding pinkity drinkity into the crease because honestly, I end up going back into it a little bit later on. So if you want to skip this first step, that's totally cool. Picking up my Morphe 321 brush, I'm going to sweep both single and excuse me into my crease and I'm also going to pack these shades onto my outer V. I found that with these purples I had to layer a little bit so don't worry if you feel like you're dipping into the palette going back in, dipping into the palette going back in. Again it took me a couple tries to get it as pigmented as they wanted to on the eyes. Then we're going into the Imrezi palette. I'm using my Morphe 507 brush which is a little fluffier than the one we just used. Picking up that pink matte shade in the corner, I'm going to sweep this right over the edge of the two purples that we just applied. Now you can probably see why I said to just skip pinkity drinkity in our first step because now we're going to go back into pinkity drinkity and I'm going to add it right on top of that pink. Then going into the darkest shade in this palette, back on my stiff Morphe 321 brush, I'm going to really pack this shadow right into that outer corner giving me a little bit more depth. And then following up with the fluffy brush with no product, I'm just blending it out until it's a little smoother. Using my LA Pro Girl Concealer on a stiff flat shader brush, I'm going to start marking out where I want my cut crease to be. The concealer is going to come pretty much about three quarters of the way in, pretty much until it meets up with that dark outer shade. And then to smooth the concealer with no product on this brush whatsoever, I'm just patting it in. On another flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up the middle metallic shade and I'm going to start packing this right over the wet concealer. To get right up nice and close to those edges, I like using this little detail brush. Picking up the same exact color, this just helps me allow to get right up to that crease. Using the same small brush, going back into that pink, I'm now going to hide the line between the really dark purple and the metallic shade on my lid. So to make the transition just a little bit more blended, I'm just taking that pink shade again, and I'm literally just going back and forth until I'm satisfied with the blending. It might take a couple minutes to get the result that you want. At this point, we're done with the eyes, so we can go ahead and remove the tape, and we are going to finish up with the face. You'll notice in this video I'm a little bit lighter than I have been. I introduced you guys that I've started self tanning again. This video was filmed when I was not doing that yet so yes it is a little bit of a lighter foundation if you had any questions but I am going to just blend it out using my beauty blender. Now my routine has changed a little bit so in upcoming makeup tutorials you're going to see me applying it a little differently but for now this is how I am going to keep doing it and we're also going to go in with a little bit of my Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline which is still my tried and true concealer. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose 
and on my chin, once again blending that all out using a damp beauty blender. Now going into another LA Pro concealer, this time a darker color called Toast. I'm going to start marking out my contour. Then I like to use this spray primer just to give my Makeup Revolution brush a little spritz. Then I'm going to use this dense brush to really help me buff in this concealer. I always do follow up with my beauty blender though just to get rid of any harsh lines that may have been left behind. To set all of the lighter creams I'm using my Airspun Translucent Powder to do so and once again my damp beauty blender. Now normally I would let this powder sit on my face while I do my eyebrows but because they're already done we can just go ahead and dust the excess powder away after a minute or so. And then for my waterline I'm picking up this NYX Faux White Liner. It's like a really light pink color and I'm just lining my waterline with that. And I actually add a little bit to my inner corner as well. Last palette, I promise, going into my Disney Designer palette, my favorite inner corner highlight still to this day has been Prince Charming, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that and pack it into those inner corners to really make it pop. Back into the Imresi palette, I'm picking up this darker matte pink, not the first matte pink that we use, but on the opposite side of the palette, and I'm going to sweep this underneath my lower lash line, following up with the first pink color that we use, sweeping that right underneath that color that we just applied. And then we are going to go ahead and line my eyes. So I just skipped through this real quick. I know my liner can be a little intense for some. This is just the way that I like it. Please feel free to do no liner at all. Or you could even do a, a much smaller wing. You don't have to do it this dramatic. For mascara, I'm using my telescopic. And I am adding two coats to my top and my bottom lashes. Now while my false lashes get tacky, I'm going to bronze up my face real quick and set the darker cream contour that we use. So we're killing two birds with one stone. I'm just using this buffing brush I got from the Museum of Ice Cream collaboration with Sephora. These lashes that I'm popping on are from Huda Beauty and they are in the style called Farah. I wanted to add just a little bit of color to my cheeks, so I'm going into my Narcissist blush palette, and I'm picking up this shade called King Pin, and I'm going to dust this just on the apples of my cheeks, and then picking up Unlimited on a highlighting brush, just to add a little bit to my cheekbones as well to give me a very subtle glow. For my lips today, I am going simple. After a little shake, I'm going to apply Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in Can't Relate. For my final touches, I just like to add a little bit of liquid liner to my lash band and a little bit of mascara to my falsies as well. Alright guys, so that completed today's look. I hope you enjoyed. As far as the lips go, I was kind of going back and forth between Can't Relate and Clout. If you're recreating this look and want something a little more fun, I think the Jeffree Star Clout color would be really fun. It's kind of like a metallic purple. Even if maybe you wanted to use it as like a lip topper, that's totally an option. So the lips, I always tend to keep natural if I'm doing a really bold, colorful eye. That's just my preference. And then vice versa, if I'm doing a bold lip, I usually usually keep the eyes some somewhat natural just my preference but know that you have a few different options out there even if you want to throw on like a light pink lip that would totally do um, I just threw on like uh, can't relate is kind of like a matte um, with pinky undertones so I thought it would be perfect for today's look but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and leave a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next one bye